right, today, Jay Shetty uploaded a new podcast episode with Kim, and basically the whole hour of the episode, it's Kim expressing how much she isn't a complainer, and then proceeding to complain the entire time. Like, let's say what the problem is, not complain, I'm not a complainer. Are you sure about that? But she just kept going in the same circles over and over and over again. And if it wasn't her repeating herself over and over again, it was really just her showboating herself the entire time and saying how much better she is than everybody else. It's just difficult to sit through because she says so much without saying anything at the same time. So in our first clip, she complains about having to do her daughter's hair and putting her son's shoes on. It's like, I always have to do one of my daughter's hair and it has to be perfect and it has to be a certain way. And then this one needs me to put his shoes on and that they all need you. And they all, it's like full crazy madness, cooking, running around, like it's, it's wild. That's why I need my workout in the morning just to like prepare for the two hours of craziness. What I find funny is the fact that Kim claims that her mornings are chaos because she has to cook as well when her literal kids have exposed her for not cooking. When her own daughter was asked the question, the best thing your mum cooks is, she literally said, mum doesn't cook, she has a chef. But also, there is no way she is telling the truth when she has literally hired nannies for the household. They have a team of nannies on at all times and on call 24 seven, each making a salary of around $100,000. But they certainly earn their keep. Kim reportedly has nannies, six in total, and they must follow a list of very strict rules. And I'm not a mother, so I'm not going to put my two cents in on this. So I'm going to read from a very angry mother on Reddit who watched this interview. Most single mums in America get little to no child support money, work full time outside the home, grocery shop, cook, clean, do laundry, bathe their children, wash clothes, budget, transport to and from school, help with homework and can barely rest thinking about all they must do again the next day while worrying about cost rise. These women don't even have the luxury of being able to pay a babysitter to have some me time. These women are the ones that should be crying, but they rarely do to be strong for their kids. You are out here trying to get sympathy for crying yourself to sleep for being a single mum. Shut the hell up. Then Kim says that when her kids are having a tantrum, she'll just lock herself in a room away from them. <sighs> and my friends and I will text each other and be like in tears, literally locking ourselves in the room, like away from a kid having a tantrum when that's not what you should do. You should go and lean into them. And, but sometimes it's so overwhelming. Now in doing this, she's essentially telling her kids that it's okay to have a tantrum whenever they don't get their way. She'll just go away. She isn't lecturing them for their behavior, and she certainly isn't trying to stay back to help herself understand as to why her children may be acting out this way. I mean, when your kids are saying that you're nothing to them. Mom, I'm very grateful for you. I know I'm rude to you a lot. I say you're nothing to me, but you mean the world to me. And that you like to leave them alone. I think that's maybe something you might want to look into because that's maybe the reason that they're acting out. Thank you so much. This is very true. This is very true. It's been a long time. Vladimir, my friends call me Dutch. It is an absolute pleasure. Yeah, I stayed away just to give you guys space in life. But what I find to be hilarious is that for a good 85% of this podcast, she doesn't shut up about her kids. But when Jay tries to ask a question about her parenting, she shuts him down immediately. Wait, you were talking about earlier about parenting and you brought it up a few times and I wonder how you You view don't have kids, do you? Not yet, not yet. Okay. We'll have that's, this conversation what, again when yes, you do. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking parenting questions. Uh, you what? He didn't even get the question out. You interrupted before you even knew what he was going to say. But also, Kim, 
Since you like to complain about having to take care of your kids, let me use your words back on you. Get your f***ing ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. Now, moving away from her kids for a minute, Kim says that when she has someone on vacation who's treating the vacation like a vacation, she'll judge them for it. Mm. Like if I were to go on vacation with my girlfriends, we'd all be getting up probably at 6 a.m., all want to go on a workout. I don't think there's that one girl that would be like, I'm sleeping till 10 and I'm not working out, you know? Kim, not everyone wants to treat their break like their everyday routine. That's precisely what a vacation is for. How are you going to judge someone for using their time off to relax? Maybe you want to continue to wake up early and do your workout first thing in the morning, but that doesn't mean everybody else wants to do that. And that's fine. Like, I don't know about you, Kim, but when my family's on vacation and the rest of the family wants to go do something that one of us doesn't want to do, and they just want to stay back at the hotel and rest, okay, see you later. And then we leave, and that's that. Like, Jesus, Kim! We then get a taste of tone deaf Kim when she says that she doesn't value materialistic things anymore. What's something that you used to value that you no longer feel you value anymore? Definitely material designer things. Um, maybe it's easy for you to say that you don't value these things when you literally have everything. Kim overconsumes and she doesn't care about anything that she buys or currently owns because she knows if something would happen to it, she could just replace it like that. It's just a gross display of wealth. Another thing is that she says she doesn't judge herself, which means she has little to no self-awareness, and that she doesn't know what to say to people who do judge themselves. So even if it were her closest friends in the entire world or her family, she wouldn't know how to deal with that. And, and I feel that a lot of people start getting better at that with the judgment outside. But one of the things that people struggle to deal with the most is the judgment in their head. And I wonder... Do you find that you ever catch yourself judging yourself and being hard on yourself and being heavy and harsh on yourself? No. I guess when you see people judge themselves then, how do you, how do you respond to that or how do you support them? Honestly, I really haven't experienced that much. Mm. Kim, I'm starting to think <laughs> you don't have as much empathy as you think you do. <laughs> and I might not have even had the slightest idea of what someone's gone through or even understood taking the time to listen to people more than maybe speaking and making it about yourself. And my compassion has just grown and my empathy has grown on another level. Now, since this podcast has been uploaded, both Kim and Jay have received an incredible amount of backlash for it, deservedly. And it isn't just people who don't like the Kardashians who are saying these things. It is literally longtime Jay Shetty fans who are disappointed in him for doing this. Literally just go to the comment section on his most recent post to Instagram and you'll see hundreds, if not thousands of comments exactly like these. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I understand where you're coming from about people sharing a side of themselves, but there are a lot of other people who truly need a platform for the selfless work they do, the sacrifices they make, and the disadvantaged beginning they come from. Not from the rich and entitled born into wealth. I am so disappointed that you are amplifying the voice of such a problematic person who has exploited her workers for profit, has created a media empire from setting harmful and unrealistic beauty standards, and continues to hoard wealth. I urge you to listen to this feedback from your fans. There was also someone else on Reddit who made a really good point about the entire situation. This tired mom act is to drum up sympathy for a show and a brand on the verge of cancellation. I genuinely think she's entering a phase in her life where she's resenting the fact that her kids are actually people and not just accessories she can carry around. <sighs> Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this entire video in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think about this entire podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah! I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Cool, 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 cool. Um...
Try doing it poor. Want to talk about crying yourself to sleep? I'm telling you. Dare I say, girl, get your ass up and work.